Hey everyone, Chris McCarthy here, the jump rope trainer, and what I want to discuss today is um, sizing your jump rope properly for your height when performing double unders. Uh, one of the key components to performing double unders efficiently is making sure that you have a jump rope that is sized properly to your height. You don't want it to be too long because then it's going to cause too much drag on the floor, um, and then also you don't want it to be too short because then it's going to be catching your toes and, and hanging you up and it's going to cause some bad form because you're going to be kind of hunched over because the rope's a little bit too short. So really what you're looking for is you want this rope, the cable length, to be about mid chest level. So what I mean by that is if you take a rope right now, I'm going to take this RX Smart Gear rope, and if I put it down on the floor and I put it in the arch of one of my feet, and I put my feet together, and then I stand upright, really what I'm looking for is I want to make sure that these cables end, not the handles, but the cable part, end right around mid to lower chest level. Um, that's a good length right there for me. Uh, if you're more advanced, you want to go with the mid to lower chest if, uh, level. If you are just beginning, maybe choose a little bit longer, a couple inches, so mid to higher chest level on there, just to give you a little bit more length on there if you're learning. But uh, for me, I like it right around the mid lower chest level. So that's a good gauge to go with right there. Um, so if you're ordering a rope, uh, for example, the Buddy Lee jump ropes that you can order, then you can size according to that. That's what you're looking for. You're going to want to get one of those ropes and then measure it up here and then trim that rope according to that mid to lower chest level. Now, if you're ordering a rope from like RX Smart Gear or Cross Rope or one of the other companies that sell the ropes at different lengths but allow you to choose the length, um, this is what you're looking for as well. You can essentially do the same type of thing I just did with the rope but with a tape measure. So you can determine the proper length for you by using a tape measure just like you would a rope. So extend this tape measure out, once again, put it down the ground, underneath one of your feet with your feet together, and then stand upright. And now even out these ends right here, and really you're looking for that mid to lower chest level here. And if I was to even that out, I'm looking right around a cable length of eight feet, six inches, which is actually perfect. Um, I actually uh, prefer RX Smart Gear jump ropes and they have a guide on their website and they recommend getting jump ropes that are about three feet over your height. And I'm five foot six, so eight foot six, three feet over is perfect. Um, I prefer my ropes to be just a little bit shorter, um, so I usually order an eight foot four inch, but usually that three foot um, over your height is, is a perfect recommendation from them. Um, the only thing about that is if you're actually under five foot six, they recommend doing two feet ten inches over your height as opposed to the three foot. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on the website or check me out on Facebook.